Hi folks, do you ever get really frustrated or spend way too much time trying to pull a pin out of a really tight hole? It happens to us about once a month, most often on our orange vices, and credit to Orange for creating such a precise product, but Dowel pins, which are generally centerless ground and thus have a little bit of a wider tolerance range than you might think, sometimes get stuck. And I hate using the vice grips or pliers to pull them out. So Jared finally got fed up and said, I want to make a slide hammer. And we started brainstorming and had what I think is a pretty good idea, which is let's take an ER20 TTS tool. That gives us the full range of ER collets to be able to hold on to a number of different diameters pretty easily and quickly and not mar them. Let's bang this thing out. grabbed a piece of mystery metal, stuck it in a four jaw on the Slant Pro lathe. As much as I joke about not liking lathes, I actually do enjoy running them and even more so programming them. Starting with the turning profile pass using a WNMG tool, 500 surface feet per minute, 10 thou feed per rev with 50 thou roughing step downs. It's gonna get rid of most of that material. And then we're gonna come back with this grooving tool. And I, there's two things I love about this tool. The first is that it's a tool that with one offset that's able to cut both left and right. That's really handy. It avoids having the blend lines between a right hand and a left handed tool. And the second thing is there's this tool's kind of nostalgic to me because we were running a stainless job on the Slant Pro and it was kicking our butt. This is probably about three years ago. And coincidentally, Right when I was working on it, in walked our Sandvik rep for the first time ever, a gentleman named Corey. And I said, Corey, do you think you could help me with this? And he looked at the material and the specs and the drawing and cam, and he said, oh yeah, we've got a tool that'll do really well for this. And that was the first time I'd ever brought in a quote unquote really good tool. They brought it in on test. They had it there the next day. They took it seriously and it was night and day. Watching that tool cut stainless on the Slant Pro blew my mind relative to most of what I had used to date, which was the inexpensive generic, probably import tools. It sold me and it was the start of a really good friendship and a partnership using a lot of Sandvik tools here in our shop. Otherwise finishing this up, parting it off, but uh, as AVE would say, not a part you want to put in a vise. Switching from a four jaw over to a 5C, that lets us easily hold this part to do our backside work, doing sort of a roughing profile, then drilling and tapping. What I like about this slide hammer is we made the design modular so we can easily swap out a rod or a piece of all thread for a different length, because sometimes you want that stroke, but sometimes you need something that's smaller or shorter to get into a tight spot. Turning the OD of the counterweight, doing this on the manual Emco lathe, drilling, and then I thought Jared did a great job knurling this part. The knurling looked great, and that's not always an easy thing to do. And then finally using the Slant Pro to turn down a piece of 3 8 inch rod to thread on. So again, works great. We'll probably leave it set up for half inch since that seems to be the most common size dowel pin that we've got stuck. But if you've ever tried to disassemble a machine or do maintenance or pull a pin that may have been lightly press fit in there, there really isn't another way to do it. So we'll post the files for this project up on the NYC CNC website if anyone wants to grab feeds and speeds or make your own version of this. Otherwise, folks, hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed. Take care. See you soon.
Bye.